Hi, welcome back to the channel. I'm at Pit Maiden again today. And today I'm going to try and put my bike through its paces and myself, trying a bit harder tracks. Um, so I've come to a trail I've done before. This is called Loam Lover. It's a red graded trail. Um, I've not done this trail for about two years at least. Um, and it has changed slightly since I was last here because the storms I've had at the end of 21, beginning of 2022. So the entrance has kind of got a tree over it. So you've got to just hop over this log. I used to come down this rocky section here. It was really rough. And you've got to be careful to avoid hitting those trees. It's quite a rough bit of section. After that, it's not that bad. But as I said, I think there's trees over parts further way down, but I think there's been ways round put about. So let's have a shot of it. See the trail, the grass. Oh, we're on here, I think. Probably can't really tell from the camera, but that's actually pretty steep and off camber. That little turn at the end there uh, in the wet <laughs> might be well dodgy. Mind you, it's a wee bit dodgy today because it's so dry, it's roasting 25 degrees today. Place is dusty, but that was good. Good warm up. Hi, I'm back up really close to the start of Lone Lover, the red trail I've just done, and right next to it, there's a black trail called Black Mamba. And yeah, it's a lot more challenging. Um, so it just starts up at the same place there, comes down here, and then he's presented with a choice of three different lines. Very steep and then a tight turn, a quite a decent step down, and a very tight turn towards a tree, or the wider angle, but big chunky roots, and that takes you on a straight run, there's a drop, and then it kind of winds its way through, and I've just walked up the trail to have a look at it. Uh, there's a really sort of steep, technical, rocky, twisting turn section near the bottom. And then that feeds into the same ending as Lone Lover. I've looked at this trail before and I was always like, nah. One day I did think about doing it when I was here with Pete, but Pete wasn't up for it, so I just said no. But today I'm going to go for it. I think, I think I'll probably go the wide way first. Then I might come back, if I do it successfully, and try to see if I can turn any of these bits. Let's see. Right, here goes Black Mamba. I'm going to go the widest way of those three routes. Oh! Did it! Bum touch my rear tire though, I was leaning so far back, but I did it. So, come along here, and then this comes into the really kind of steep section. Let's be stepped into here as well. Whoa, that looks funny in there. Go and keep on it. 
hitting the front brake a bit too hard there. Come on. Boulder. Well, kind of got down that trail. Not perfect style or anything. I've done it. This just takes us on to the same ending as Long Lover. Here. Well, I got down it. Not very gracefully, but I got down it in one piece. Uh, yeah, I just hit the front brake a bit too hard. It was a bit slippy in that corner it was actually still quite greasy actually and so my front wheel just washed out a bit I am thinking about changing the tyres to Wild Enduros because I do think they're a lot more grippy but that was really down to me just being a bit of a chicken putting my bricks on a bit too hard just coming back to have a look at the section again because there's a really step downs and it's quite a tight turn and it's all really off camber and the slope basically wants to send you down that way um, you can see it's actually quite greasy. There's grip as well, but when you're being cautious and slowing down too much, it's just stopping, almost stopping the tyres and the tyres just sliding rather than cutting in. And when I got turned around here, the problem with this bit was I was caught in indecision because part of me was going, I should maybe go up high over that sort of rock and then to make the angle wider to go down or just go down the middle and as I was doing this I was just sort of slowly inching forward and then you can see where my tyre just almost came to a grinding halt and just lost traction there just like because it's such a camber it's just broken away that's what caution does sometimes you just got to make sure the wheels are still rolling <laughs> to keep traction back to the top of Black Mamba to try these other rollings first I'm going to really steep one on the right hand side That was a bit scary. <laughs> that was a bit scary. Did it though? Whoosh! Wow. Some speed you get on that. There must have been a look of panic on my face there. <laughs> This next one I think I've really got to go quite slow on it. Just kind of roll it slowly, get, try to get low down on the bike. This is actually, I think this is the trickiest one. Just because it's so tight, like with that tree. So come out quite wide and then go that way. Ooh, that is so difficult. Ooh, that is so difficult. Nah. Nearly. <laughs> Nearly did it. Nearly went over. That's panic. That's not looking ahead. Oh well, give it a shot. I'm happy with that. Right, now I'm at the start of a black trail called Heart of Darkness. I've done this one before. It's kind of a... It's quite a long sort of cross-country slash enduro type trail. You've got to... It's got a bit of climbing. Some downhills, uh, so it's quite techy in parts, but there's really one big, it's kind of more like a red, except for one big rocky roll feature thing. It definitely turns it into black. I uh, looked at it before uh, when I was on my own, and it was a very wet day that day, and I was tired. I was like, not a chance I'm gonna attempt this. 
Um, but today I'm going to have a look at it again and I might give it a shot today. I was here, this, this area was an absolute quagmire. Up this rocky bit, I'll stop at the top of it. Have a look. I can do that, no problem. Definitely do this, no problem. All right, I'll go back and do it. Oh, <laughs> I'm bum greased the back tire again though. <laughs> but I did it. That's good. No way I was doing that before. I mean, I'm a little bit conquered. Well chuff for that. Time I looked up that before, there was really terrible conditions. I was on my old bike and everything, and I was tired, it was at the end of the day. I was like, no way am I gonna attempt to do that. I thought probably I could do it in dry conditions. It's obviously dry today. But when I was looking at it there, it didn't even look intimidating to me. I just thought, yeah, I'll do that. And I did. I was still leaning a wee bit too far back. I could feel the, my back wheel grazing my bum. <laughs> but yeah, this bike's given me a lot of confidence and I just battered over that as if it wasn't there and the only thing was, it was going quite fast it was just trying to dodge the tree that was on the right hand side I, was, I thought I was in danger of hitting it but managed to dodge it a good day I'm an absolute ball of sweat <laughs> well I'm going to do a trail, a red trail called Rootmageddon, I've done it before it's basically got a, a drop near the end let's see how we get on There though. What am I doing? Oh, the tree. Oh, scrap. <laughs> Jaggy trees. That was good. So next up, I'm going to try to do a trail that I've kind of done before. It used to be called Wormhole. And it was quite a short trail, black trail, and there was a drop that I always chickened out of. I always went around the chicken line. Um, even though I thought I could do it, I always chickened out of it, so I'm hoping I'm going to be able to do that today. But the trail is totally changed now from when I've done it before. It used to be really quite short and the end was not very good. It was always really boggy and wet and rutted. Um, but if you look here, the Tayside Trail Association, which you can donate to, they now take care of the trails here, uh, along with um, Dunkeld, Ballow and Dukeney Woods in Perth and they've changed this trail, they made it a bit longer, well quite a lot longer, having it running along the, the hill right down to the bottom car park. So that bit's all new, I've never done that bit before. And I'm also starting at a different bit. This is a climbing trail called 50-50, and I think they used to all be called 50-50, because 50% was climbing and 50% was quite downhill. But this is where they've started this new trail, 
and they're now calling it tapeworm. T T A Taste of Trade Association. Tapeworm. I looked at this bit before and I was just like, nah, I'm not doing that, it's too steep and techy. It's really tight and twisting through trees, it's quite steep in bits and there's lots of roots. But I'm gonna give it a shot today, see how we get on. I'm just gonna take it easy, obviously. I'm gonna try to do it quite slowly. And then hopefully I'll just go over that drop without even thinking about it. Fingers crossed. Very slow. Right. It's very tight. Oh, now over the road there's this bit I've done before. It's not rocky. It's a lot rockier than before. This is this drop. You could do that. Yes. I think it's super used to going in that direction. This is all new to me. It was brilliant, really good fun, and uh, I didn't do it great obviously. First time down it really, but officially, it's a lot. I dug bits out, exposed more rocks, bigger drops, and stuff. It's made it a lot more difficult, but I've also added little sort of kicker jump things. So if you're really good on your bike, you're quite playful hopping about from bit to bit. Um, I did that drop for the first time. And I think it's bigger than it was before but I did it better than the other drops I've done today because I never felt the, my back wheel touching my bum or anything I just let go of the brakes and just let it fly over did obviously the drop action just did a lot better that was a bit of practice today it's really chuffed great day out this bike is a real game changer for me just as I hoped it would be and I've managed to take off things that have chickened out in the past because of it and good conditions well a wee bit slidey but I'm also feeling a lot more fit and confident now so that all makes a difference that was the old end of wormhole there a lot better now well done to everybody at the Tayside Trail Association thanks for all your hard work if you want to donate to Tayside Trail Association you can do, I'll leave a link in the description and they also do organised dig days if you're able to get along and offer to help I'm hoping to get to them one of these days uh, but it's quite difficult with work and what have you but I'd love to help out because it keeps the trails going and allows me to have days like today so cheers guys 
Well, I hope you've enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next one. Tatty bye. Yes. Oh, did it. I knew you could do that. Head it up. <laughs> oh, nigger, I think I've zoomed up. Oh.